but welcome to Time with Steven. If you're watching me for the first time, I go by the name Man Stevo, and I'm based in Denmark, the second happiest country in the whole wide world. Saying to you, my returning subscribers, I would like to say a very big thank you to all of you. You know, it is because of you I keep making these videos. So yes, in my previous video, I spoke about a university in the Netherlands. You know, but the feedback I got was that it is so expensive for many of you out there, right? So on today's edition, I'm here to share with you three of the most affordable universities in Denmark. Yes, I know many of you are looking forward to relocating to Denmark, you know? So yes, that is what I'm about to do. But guys, before I proceed, I would like to share with you three major reasons why you should consider studying in Denmark. Yes, number one is that you don't require a block account to study here. Yes, so for those of you who don't know what a block account is, it is a specified amount of funds you ought to transfer to your school to indicate that you have enough capital to cover your living expenses while living and studying in that particular country. Yes, in Denmark, you actually don't require a block account. Number two is that as a student, you are capable of bringing your spouse and children, you know, to join you here in Denmark. Yes, many of the countries worldwide don't really allow this. Yes, in Denmark, you have this opportunity. The third reason you should consider Denmark as a country to study in is that upon completion of your study, you have an extension of your visa to up to three years, yes, to find job or search for job in the specific area of your qualification. Yes. So these are the three reasons, guys, you should consider Denmark. And like I always do on my platform, I share tips with you. On today's edition, the major tip I would like to share with you out there is that in choosing schools worldwide, you know, not only in Denmark, guys, it is a great idea to choose schools that are outside the capital regions. Yes, you know, the reason is that in smaller cities, living expenses are low as compared to the major cities. Okay, so yes, that is my tip for you for today. All right. Without much ado, let me walk you through the three most affordable universities in Denmark. Number one on the list is Olbo University. Yes. But two is University of Southern Denmark, also known as SDU. And number three is Hoskele University. So guys, I'll be taking the schools one after the other and I'll share with you the price range, you know, concerning the fees. Yes. And then cost of living in Denmark, you know, as a student and some of the other options you have while studying. So let's start off with Olbo University, which has three campuses located in the city of Olbo, Esbia and Copenhagen with four faculties and tuition fees ranging between 3,600 to 7,500 euros per semester. Yes, guys. It is per semester. Okay. The next one is the University of Southern Denmark, which has six campuses located in the city of Olmse, Esbia, Kolin, Copenhagen, Slense, and Sondabo. Right. And under this university, there are five faculties with tuition fees ranging between 3,100 to 8,100 euros. Per semester, right? The third university, which is Hoyskele, has four faculties with only one campus, right? Yes, in the city of Hoyskele. Okay, and tuition fees ranges between four thousand four hundred and fifty to seven thousand euros per semester. Guys, with all this tuition fee, it depends on which faculty you are studying under which program and whether it is a bachelor or master's program. Okay. Kindly take note. Now guys, let's talk about accommodation. 
Accommodation represents about one third of your living monthly expenses in Denmark. Yes. So with these major cities that I've mentioned, you can expect to pay between 400 to 670 euros per month. Okay. And for accommodation, the options you have as a student are single rooms with shared facilities such as kitchen and bathroom. Another option you have is a small studio apartment with all the facilities you need. Okay. The third option you have is a single or a private room within an apartment with shared facilities among two or five students. Yes, guys, kindly remember that with all these schools that I've mentioned, they have programs that can help international students in finding an accommodation. As an international student in Denmark, remember you are allowed to work up to 20 hours per week. Yes, guys, you can school and work at the same time. If you are wondering what sort of uh, jobs are available for students here in Denmark, I've made a video about five of the easiest jobs you could find in Denmark here. Yes, personally, last year when I visited Olbo, I noticed majority of the students are working as world partners. You know, yes, guys, it is a flexible job. I've shared all the details under the description of this video. Guys, I don't want this video to be too long. So if you have any further questions, kindly drop them right under the comment section below. And I'll try as much as possible to answer many of them. Okay. I look forward to seeing you on the next video on Time with Steven. Stay tuned. Peace.